Hey, you guys. So I'm back with another message um, from the Lord. This one is a dream, though. And I was seeking God for clarity because I had a dream last night. And it was like a dream within a dream. And um, God just told me to discuss the whole entire dream or the both of the dreams inside this one message. So basically in the dream, it was like old people um came was trying came back um into my life that i knew and there were familiar faces okay and what they were trying to do was get um me um to go back to a place like i said where i was delivered from and actually it was just trying to take me um back to a place lower and it wasn't just me it was like I was I was in it and it was other people but back to a lower place than what God had delivered you from and it's almost like they wanted to bring you back to a place to where you are in like a cult all right and it was like um a sexual cult all right I don't no, um, and I'm just gonna have to be blunt with you. Um, when people do like group sex orgies and stuff like that, 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 that is considered demonic and that is considered like a sexual cult. And that's what they were trying to get different people involved in. All right. And so that's to a low place when you, get involved in those type of things like sexual sin you guys is real um stds is real not just sexually transmitted diseases but sexually transmitted demons spiritually transmitted demons those things are real those things are demonic um sex is a act of worship between husband and wife all right. So when you indulge in those type of things, you are opening demonic doors. All right. That you realize that you're not opening. And so after that part, it was like where God was showing me what they were trying to do. And that dream, I went into another dream. And in that dream, it was just like um, in that dream. When I went to sleep, I woke up. I was just in a realm, another another spiritual realm. And I was just, I, I started, my spirit was discerning. So I started speaking into a heavenly language. And then it was to a point where I got so high in the spirit. And I was speaking into a heavenly language. Like the heavenly language went away. And it was just like me just sounding an alarm. Um, and like when I was doing that, um, the higher I got in the heavenly language, it was because I was seeing how the enemy was trying to do rituals to, um, it's like a transfer ritual, ritual where they were trying to transfer and steal people's um, anointing, steal people's gifts. Um, because the devil, like I said, he's very, he's a trickster. So if he can get you to open a demonic door, he will use that demonic door to try to creep in and take what he wants to take. He's a trickster. So he was trying to open a demonic door through getting people to go back to a place where God has delivered them from or even a lower place as far as getting involved in like sexual sin and all this other different things. So he can creep in and come in and steal their anointing. He can creep in. He can come and steal their gifts. All right. And when I began to see the ritual and what the things that were doing, it was just like I was sounding the alarm. All right. And I sound the alarm so hard or so loud in my in, in my in the spiritual realm. It woke me up out of my sleep. And when I woke up out of my sleep, I saw uh, monitoring spirits and they fleed. OK, they, they ran. Um, so what God is saying in this particular dream, don't go back to your low place. Um, people will try to come back into your life because they see where God is taking you and they see how God has delivered you. And some of these same people that are going to come back or try to come back, they were jealous of you in the past. And God is saying, they're still going to be jealous of you now. And this time when they come back, they're going to be tricked. They're going to try to trick you to indulge in sin. Um, 
mainly sexual sin that opens the demonic door that they want you to open so they can access your anointing, so they can access your gift. It's like they're trying to drain you of your anointing and drain you of your gift. And God is saying, do not go back into that low place. You know who this is for. Be very mindful um, in this season, in this hour. Like a lot of God's children, he is telling us to be separated. A lot of God's children, he don't want us to be around a lot of people. He don't want us to have a lot of friends. Like, especially if you have a lot of prophetic gifts, you're not going to have a whole bunch of friends. Because when God starts using you to speak to, <laughs> to speak to these people, some of them are not going to like it. Um, because they know you, they know you see, they know you know. Um, so, and... I'm going to be honest, when it comes to people that are very spiritually gifted, nine times out of ten, it's hard for us to make and have genuine friendships. All right. So, but like I said, these people, they're going to come back and they're still going to be jealous of you. Even when they bring you back into this low place, they're still going to be try. They're still going to be tremendously jealous of you. So God is saying, do not go back to this low place. Do not go back to this low place because when you when they try to come back into your life and take you back to this low place, they're trying to get you in a predicament where they want God to strip you of your gifts or strip you of your blessings. And then they're going to try to do a transfer um, spell, which they try to do that. They try to transfer and try to steal your blessings, your gifts and stuff for you because they're jealous. All right. Um, if you don't think it's true. People in the Bible, Jacob stole his brother birthright. You know, look at the story of Cain and Abel. They do do stuff like that, okay? When they're very, very jealous of you, they will try to do rituals and stuff on you. They will try to do, um, they will do try to do transfer spells to try to transfer the gifts that God has given you to themselves. But it's very important, you guys, to stay prayed up, to stay fast up, to also um, not to indulge. And things you shouldn't be indulging in. A curse without cause should not come. And when you don't have any open doors open, the devil will try to open them. He'll try to send someone to open the door so he can access you in the way he wants to access you. So be very, very mindful, you guys, in this season, in this hour of who is trying to come back. If God had told you not to let these people come back, don't let them come back. It's not your job to... Forgive them and reconcile. No, forgive them and keep it moving. Everybody can't go into your next season with you. And if you go back and think about it, whenever you was in that current season with them, nine times out of ten, you were stagnant. Nine times out of ten, these people was always trying to take from you, always draining you, always depleting you. And they want to do that again. They want to write off your anointing. They want to write off your gifts. And this time, what they're going to try to do is steal your gifts. All right, steal your anointing because they want you to stay in bondage because they are jealous of you. So be very mindful. God is saying, do not go back to this low place. You know who this is for. Like I said, just keep it moving. Be nice, be cordial, keep it moving. But you have so much ahead of you, so much ahead of you, so much God, so much more that God wants to give you. And they know that your blessings is on the horizon. So whoever this is for, don't go back to that low place, okay? I'm saying this again because it was like in the spirit, I was sounding the alarm because I was letting the devil know that, hey, I see you. I see what you are doing. And when I woke up out the dream, I seen monitoring spirits and they scattered like they was, they just ran because they know I saw them in the spirit. So be careful, you guys, in this season, in this hour. But don't go back to that low place that God has delivered you from because when you go back, to that low place they're going to take you try to take you to a lower place to try to do um transfer spells and steal your gifts and steal your anointings all right so i just wanted to come and share that don't go back to the low place be very mindful take every message back to god and confirm but i love you guys and i will chat with you all later <music>